morning. It is actually feeling like spring today, which is kind of wild because it's February, usually it's cold, but I'm not complaining. I'm here for it, I'm very much here for it. Um, I've also put on some fake tan because I was suffering majorly with the winter uglies, like so badly to the point where I was like, I need to make myself feel like I've been on holiday. So I have put fake tan on, you may notice. I look bronzed, I look glowy. I look tanned. Um, but today's an exciting day because it's the first day of London Fashion Week and I have a couple shows to go to today. So I thought I'd take you guys along. Um, my Copenhagen Fashion Week vlog went up recently, so go check that out if you haven't seen that. That's quite a lot of shows, there's lots to see. So if you love Fashion Weeks and things like that, definitely watch that one because I really liked it. I thought it was a really good trip. I had a really good time. So definitely go check that out. Um, but yeah, we're in London, which I always find so different because it's like home turf so you kind of just feel like you're just going to an event it doesn't really feel like fashion week um so yeah but i'm excited i'm excited i've got the first show this morning which is bora aksu i really wanted to go to it last year and i didn't so i'm very very grateful that i get to go this time but let me show you my outfit because it's giving like granddad chic and i really like it like it's a nice mix between kind of like an autumny winter outfit but also going into spring so yeah let's go i've just thrown on the jacket that i was going to wear for this outfit so you can see the full fit um, but my sunglasses are Vela. I've got a little scrunchie in which I think I got from and other stories. Um, my little sweater vest is Zara and then I've got a little Cos t-shirt underneath. This jacket denim shirt is from Dams and Madder. It's from their new collection and I managed to match it perfectly with my Uniqlo jeans. These Uniqlo jeans I love, they're like one of my favourite pieces, they're super comfy, they look super expensive and they're just a gorgeous colour and they match perfectly with the shirt so I thought now's my opportunity to do a double denim look um, and then I've added my uh, Kate belt just to kind of bring it together, add a bit of pizzazz because it was giving quite simple and I wanted something to just kind of edge it up a little bit so I popped that on and then I'm wearing my Free People loafers, great pair of loafers, love these, um, I wear them quite a lot. My bag is Celine, and then my jewellery is from an array of places. Um, this pearly necklace is from Misoma. The one with the cherry is from Pandora. My earrings are also Misoma. Did I say my sunglasses are Vela? I can't remember. But yeah, that's the fit.
approximately five, six days from the last clips that you just saw. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't vlog much over the last week. I can't lie, I've had a really, really like all over the shop week. It's also chucking it down. So there's really not much going on because when it's raining, you're holding stuff, umbrella, it's just not it. But I thought I would share with you guys some of the new bits that I've got in my wardrobe. I am very, very much thinking about spring and the spring weather, what spring brings. So I thought I'd share with you some of the bits that I've picked up because I feel like really in the mood for colour, which is weird because I'm not massively a colour girl, although I do love a splash of colour. I'm one of those people that like, I absolutely love my neutrals and I will always stick to that. But every now and then I do love a little splash of colour and I'm very, very inspired by the kind of neutrals pop of colour mix. I think it just really looks quite chic and quite cool and it can really spice up an outfit. So I do have some nice colourful bits to share with you. Um, my tracksuit that I am currently wearing is from Tala and it's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, really soft. Um, this hoodie is in a small one and I've got the joggers. I really should be able to do that at this point. Like I've been going to Pilates for like over a year and I, I like that, I can't. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, so, first up is a very exciting one because the good old trusty Uniqlo crossbody bag is now in spring beautiful colours. And do you know what? I'm here for that. I think there's a pink, there's a purple. Um, I already have the khaki green one. And I now have the blue and the yellow. I love this blue colour. I just think it's a really nice way of adding, like, it's a very subtle colour, which I think is nice because if you're wearing blue jeans and things like that, Pop of blue is easy to add because you can kind of team it with the blue jeans, you know, makes it all match together. Um, but I really like this colour. I think it's a really nice, soft kind of um, baby blue, but it's almost like kind of a bit darker than that, which I really like. And then this yellow, it's definitely a darker yellow. It's not a bright yellow, maybe like a mustard style yellow. Um, but yellow is a big, big trend for spring summer and i have already got a nice collection of yellow things to share with you um so you can see where my love for color is going at the moment um but i really like this color as well i think again this is going to look really cute against like a crisp white maybe like a t-shirt or a shirt i think will look really nice um it's kind of not the right color necessarily to wear with like a trench coat but i think it could be a really nice piece so i now have about eight of these this is where the yellow starts Okay, I hope you're ready. This shirt, okay, so I saw this picture on Pinterest. It's a very, very, like, you can't really see the outfit. It's just a picture of a yellow shirt with um, like a sweatshirt over the top. And I was obsessed with it. And you know when you see something, like a specific type of shirt that you want, I was like, I really want that, but there's no shirts available. The minute this shirt became available at Zara, you bet I bought it. Um, so it's a really lovely yellow shirt with this gorgeous, like, thin stripe kind of pinstripe vibe going on um i really really like this i got this one in a size medium because i love my shirts to be oversized i like to wear them like in all different types of ways whether that's like as a cover-up when you're on the beach wearing it open wearing it closed like i love to play around with shirts so i like to make sure they're oversized enough so they fit a little bit looser rather than fitted i hate a fitted shirt um so yeah really, really like this love the color it's definitely a color that i was a bit unsure of because i'm quite pale but i think it works it's all right i'm gonna roll with it i want to love it so i'm gonna love it <laughs> this piece i absolutely love this is from sandro they sent this over to me and i'm obsessed with it gorgeous like green color with this lovely little collar it's a knitted like zip up it's kind of like a zip up cardigan if you will and i love stuff like this i think it's a really nice way of having that cardigan aspect without being a cardigan i'm not the biggest cardigan girl doesn't really suit the kind of style i have but a zip one we can get on board with it's kind of giving um like fred perry tennis vibes which i quite like i think it's really cute i think this is going to look really nice as it warms up with like blue jeans over a t-shirt but also like zipped up on its own maybe with a cute pair of, pair of shorts it could look really cute with i don't know i really liked it i love the color i love green green is one of my favorite colors if i was ever to wear a color and it was the only color i could wear it'd be green um because i think it's a really nice easy neutral piece but can be kind of played around with and kind of can be a pop of color but it's also quite can be quite a neutral color so i love that and um yeah i really like this i've been trying to figure out a way of styling it 
for now when it's a bit colder. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. Over fashion week, I popped into the Hush showroom and I picked out a couple of bits. You might have seen in the previous clips that I've just shared with you um and i picked up these jeans these are very very similar to the citizens of humanity jeans that i wear all the time absolutely love them these are 80 pounds or 89 pounds which still isn't cheap so much cheaper than the citizens of humanity ones and they have the same vibe completely same vibe same kind of style fit very similar so if you're looking for that style jean and you really love those citizens of humanity jeans i'll pop a picture on the screen so you know what i'm talking about um and you don't really want to spend the £300 price tag. These. Get these. They're so nice. The denim's really soft. I think they look gorgeous. Um, and I got these in a size 6. They're a little bit big for me. But I do like them. They are very long. You do have to roll them. The rolls do come undone on these jeans. So I do think I'm going to have to iron them in place. To keep them up. But great pair of jeans. And Hush do some really lovely bits. If you're ever looking for something that's kind of higher end than like high street but not like designer it's a really nice high end high street kind of vibe what do you call that mid high street top end of high street you know that kind of vibe um and then sticking with the yellow theme <laughs> she's obsessed um i got this yellow sweatshirt i thought this again would be really cute with like a pair of white little shorts in the summertime or just with a pair of jeans for like a casual kind of cool fun easy look um wearing around the house i just thought it was really nice and i really like it all wearing to pilates right now the combo of the yellow and the brown is giving brownies did anyone do brownies i did brownies oh good old days i actually hated it <laughs> but i did do brownies um and i wish i had the little brownies jumper it was kind of cute it would look quite vintagey now not the new brownies like the old school brownies okay last two bits are actually two things i'm obsessed with and i'm so excited to wear and show you guys first up is this ganny t-shirt i have a couple of ganny t-shirts i absolutely love them i think ganny t-shirts are so nice because they play with the, like the graphics quite nicely and it's kind of nice to have that little pop of color or pop of design on a very simple outfit um and i picked up this ganny tee with this gorgeous little cherry design i just thought it was really cute i liked the kind of darker red um and i don't have any t-shirts with like a darker red graphic on so i thought this was quite nice i have seen another one that i like that's got no color it's got like a little i think it's a martini glass on the front which i also want but do i need probably not but i do love a ganny t-shirt i've got a really nice one that's got like bright blue on it but this one's just kind of got a little bit of red on i just thought it was a nice neutral style red rather than like a bright bright red um so i'm excited to wear this and they also do this in a gray if you're not wanting a white tee and i think i got this in a medium i believe because i like them to be oversized yet yeah, a medium and it's a really good oversized so i don't think you need to go to i think they're already designed to be a bit oversized but i love a big baggy t-shirt so yeah absolutely love this i'm so excited to wear that and then the final thing to share with you guys is this stunning bag um and i know what you're thinking wow that looks really really expensive no this is from Anthropology. I mean, it's not cheap, can't lie. I think it's £135, which isn't cheap. But I have an Anthropology bag, the black one. Very similar to this, it's a bit smaller. And I use it all the time. I've used it religiously. It's still going and it's, it's such a great bag. It's, it holds so many things. So I saw this yellow colour and I thought, oh, absolutely. I absolutely need that because one I love this color at the moment two I think butter yellow is a really nice color to be able to incorporate into a spring summer wardrobe I love carrying stuff around with me and if I'm like going out all day and I've got bits and bobs that I need or I pick up like things I can just put it in here rather than to carry loads of stuff so I absolutely love it they have it in a few different other colors and they also have the really small mini like kind of hold handheld one in this color too which i just saw so if you're looking for like a more of a smaller bag like that you can hold um in this color they have that so we will link that below as well but great great bag i honestly i cannot wait to wear it they do have this size in quite a few colors and then they have the normal classic black one in two colors i believe but stunner of a bag i actually can't believe how nice it is like i wasn't quite sure what it's going to look like but i'm in love with it now the question is is my prep almost here um it's it's being prepared i ordered lunch very excited about it 
because it's been one of those days I am not going out in that rain the rain is not it I went out in the rain yesterday majorly regretted it so that is not happening today <laughs> Pilates class this morning then came home and I've washed my hair and I've used these new Kerastase products that I unboxed yesterday um, I was going to try them last night but I kind of ran out of time so I thought I would wash my hair this morning and share my opinions with you guys so this uh, new range is a range that essentially helps to get rid of the calcium in the hard water that we get in London um, and helps kind of protect your hair from that. Um, we learned about it at an event the other day and I didn't film anything but I really wanted to try it because I am very much used to hard water because where I'm from in Cambridge um, the water is really hard there as well so it makes no difference to me the water is exactly the same here as it is there but I know a lot of people don't like hard water especially if you come from a place where the water is dreamy and lovely which I'm not from that kind of place so I really can't relate but I wanted to try the products out because I was washing my hair, it seemed like the right time. So I obviously used the shampoo and conditioner. Um, really nice actually, it foamed really well and I actually found that I didn't need as much than I would with a normal shampoo. So I would rate, I highly rate the shampoo and conditioner on that kind of terms and it smells nice as well. So really, really nice shampoo and conditioner. I also used before I shampooed the um, pre-shampoo treatment, which, um, basically helps to like repair your hair and whatnot so yeah i really like that as well it was nice to just put that on before i washed my hair properly and then once i washed my hair um i towel dried it and i used this um serum which you put onto wet hair and then there's another one that, like an oil that you put on your hair afterwards so so far my hair actually feels quite nice when i was washing it it didn't feel as knotty um but i'm now going to go and dry my hair style it and then i will tell you guys how i'm feeling afterwards with the hair oil and whatnot but there also is a hair mask in the collection of products but i would recommend trying it out if i was going to try anything from my first initial thoughts I would try the shampoo and conditioner um but i can keep you guys updated in the future of what i think of it and if i think that they're worth buying into later down the line to so keep an eye on the vlogs for that but so far so good
is freshly curled i am loving my hair at the moment it's so long since i had it cut in september i've been trying to grow it out and it's finally actually feeling like when i curl it it actually feels long because usually when you curl your hair it makes it shorter but i'm just um, I used straighteners to curl my hair. If you'd like me to do a little tutorial on it, let me know. Um, but I'm just going to finish off my hair routine with this hair oil. Um, my hair's looking quite puffy right now, but I think it's just because I've literally blow dried it and styled it all at once. Um, so, oh God, I feel like that's quite a lot of oil. I'm just going to run this through my hair. like so and then yeah that's my hair done for the day i'm now going to film some content um since it's nice and bright for once because it's been raining for like i don't know for like a year at this point but yeah that is my finished hair routine content is done i'm hoping it's good i'm hoping the lighting's okay because the sun kept going in and out so we will see um i've just sat down to eat my shop bought salad that i bought on the way home this morning um from pilates and i'm just gonna eat this and then edit this vlog so i hope you've enjoyed it i hope that it's been good i have got a whole load of tidying up to do in a minute so i'm gonna eat this tidy and that's basically me for the day but i just wanted to say i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all next